When it comes to actually getting things done, our to-do list is probably the most important part of our organizational system. For some, a piece of paper and a pencil will do just fine. But for many of us, we're looking for something more. From the makers of Basecamp comes Tada List. It's a simple to-do list with a slick and easy to use interface that you can use to manage multiple to-do lists, edit them, and share them with others. You can access it from anywhere you have an internet connection on any operating system. With that, let's get started. I'll show you the basics of Tada Lists. To get started, the first thing you need to do is go to tadalist.com. and sign up for a free account. Once you have your free account, just click the login button and type in your information. This is the My List area in Tada List. This is the area you'll first be in when you first log into your account. You can see the My List tab shows all your current to-do lists. You can tell at a glance how much each item has in it either by looking at the circles, differing sizes are, are reflective of the size, so the large circle has a lot more items than the small circle. And on the right side you can actually see the exact number of items that are in each of your to-do lists. At the bottom you can also see lists others are sharing with me. If you're sharing any lists with anybody else, they'll show up down here. On the right side, you have the RSS button and your account controls. To get started, just click the Create a New List button. Type in the name of your list and click Create this list. Enter at least one item. and you can click close when you're done. When you're looking at an individual list, you can always add items by either clicking the add another item button, you can reorder them by clicking the reorder button, and you can also click the edit button to change anything in the list including the title, any of the items, or additional notes if you want to add notes to a particular list. So that you can move between your different lists easier, it's a good idea to add the My List area to the right side of the site. You can, use, you can do this using the Grease Monkey script to DAW List Enhancements. Refer to today's companion article for instructions on how to add that. To go back to the main view in Tada List, just click the My List button. When managing a list, you can always check items off as you go, and they will appear at the bottom of your list in gray. If you decide you need to add it back to the list, you can always uncheck it to add it back to the list. To reorder, just click the reorder button and you can click and drag your items to wherever you need them on the list. You can also add another item by pressing this button. And you can add links just by typing in the name in an address form. This will make it so that you can click the link on your to-do list. This is great if you need to reference multiple sites or uh, take people to certain videos or whatever it is that you need to reference on your to-do list. When you're done adding items, just click the close button. And if you decide that you'd like to share this list with someone else who's going to help you get it done, you can click the share button. 
There are two ways to share lists in tadalist.com. The first allows people to both view and edit your lists. So you would type in their email address and you can send a note to give them instructions. And then click share with these people. Now they have to have a Tadalist account in order for that to work. Um, but as long as they do, they'll be able to change the items on this list or check them off or whatever they need to do. The second way allows you to share your list without giving people the right to change it. Just click yes, share publicly at, and then you can use this link from now on to send to people in chat boxes, emails, or wherever else to actually take them to this list. Another thing you may want to do is use the RSS feature to keep track of what's going on with your list, especially if you have multiple people using them. Just click the RSS button and it shows you your current feed. This tells me what's going on on each of my lists so I can see the recent activity. If you're using Firefox, just click the service you want to subscribe to it with to add it to your reader. Likewise, you can also subscribe to an individual list just by clicking its name and clicking the RSS button at the bottom. And this list is exclusive to only the to-do list that you were just recently viewing. You can add that to any service as well. Lastly, if you're one of those people that lives out of their inbox, after you've created a list, you might want to send a reminder to yourself by using the email yourself a copy of this list. By clicking that, you get an exact version of this list emailed directly to you. You will receive a text version of your list inside your email program. It's a bulleted list and it includes links to any of the addresses you included in your list items. You can always go back to the list just by clicking the list link. I also found that while support is limited, you can access your Tada list on your mobile phone. Just go to tadalist.com like you normally do, and you can access your list, you can check items off, and uh, use your list as normal while you're on the road. And that's about all there is to it. For additional tips and tricks, and to get instructions for setting up that Grease Monkey script that puts the My List section on every page, visit techbytes.com. That's tech-bytes.com forward slash tada for today's episode particularly. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and consider signing up for our newsletter on our site so I can let you know when the next one's out. With that, I hope you're getting things done. We'll see you next week.